long time no vid, but I'm back. Alright, so we've got a quick vid on indoor training, so you'll see some nice arty pictures that I've taken. Uh, basically me just setting up my turbo trainer, so I do it. Well, I'm not here in London anymore, but when I'm in London I do it. In my sort of like, a hall, basically. I have like a little corridor, has my fan, I've got a fan over there as well. That's a bit slow-mo of the old turbo trainer, I use my giant, there's another fan you can see there, there's me. Um, it's not the most comfortable or coolest uh, coolest setup, but it does the trick nonetheless. Uh, so we can do some intervals today, they're just some like 15 second on, 15 second off, 30 second on, 30 second off or something like along Along those lines, um, at a really high cadence, with like, but only like five five minutes of that, so not not too stressful. Um, and in a minute, you'll just see I've got the power, got the um, cadence, so you'll just be able to sit back and watch watch my little session, watch watch me die basically, <laughs> watch me watch me hurt. <laughs>
right, so interval one and two are complete, and we're just starting interval three, where it's always, I was doing three today, and they're like, I hadn't really done much high intensity, so it was quite a quite hard ride for me, um, and this is where it really hurts, this is when you've just got to be like, right, time to, time to get used to the suffering and just take the L. I find on the turbo train I can suffer a lot worse than outside, I find it really hard to like, have that mental fortitude just to like keep going. I think it's mainly because there's a lack of stimulus. Even when I had Swift on, it's just like, it's, I don't know, it's something different. When you're outside, like when you're going up a climb, there's like things to think about, gear changes. But on this one, it's just you're in one gear and you're just absolutely gassing it. Um, but in a minute, you'll see a, I got my little cadence. So um, I do like a high cadence effort, like 130 RPM. Um, and those efforts I find are so much, so almost easier because you're concentrating so much on the cadence, you sort of forget about the pain. Um, they're quite nice, so you can see the GoPro, you can see, and you'll see how fast my little legs spin, um, but I think, yeah, I quite like the high cadence efforts, so I forget about it, up to 400, it was quite a chilled effort, actually, the last one, surprisingly, I thought it'd be a lot harder, um, but I think often the last one, you sort of have a bit of nerves, so, not nerves, but like, you're happy that it's finished, so, you know, you're just, I can't even think, sorry, you're happy that it's coming to the end of the interval session, so, you're, um, you can push that a little bit harder. It's often the middle one where it's the hardest or like three quarters of the way through. And there we go. That was the interval session done. Pretty beaut. Just, I always think on these interval sessions, it's like, just get it done. It doesn't, and you know it's going to hurt. You know it's not going to be pleasant, but just get it done. And you'll be faster. And when you're out on the road, you'll be able to drop some people. And that, that's the, all, all that matters. Um, so cheers for watching. And I'll see you in the next vid. Come, come, come.